I was gonna see this movie last week, but then there was a gas shortage. Army of the Dead is Zack Snyder's return to the zombie genre. It stars Dave Bautista as Scott Ward, a man who's hired to assemble a team and infiltrate a zombie-infested Las Vegas to break into a safe hidden under an abandoned casino. After the Snyder cut of Justice League, I was looking forward to seeing what Zack Snyder was gonna do next. When I heard this movie was coming out in the same year, I was really excited. And this movie did not disappoint. This was a really fun zombie movie. This was a zombie movie that was not afraid to get really bonkers with it, which I really appreciated, but also had some great action scenes and great character moments. So I think this is a movie that had a little bit of everything. One thing I really appreciated about this movie is that, especially when it gets into the characters' backstories, they do explain some things here and there, but a lot of what's going on between these characters is more show than tell. The whole opening sequence is sort of the backstory of where these characters were at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. But again, you don't get a lot of dialogue about it. You kind of just see what's happening in front of you. You can follow the story. It makes sense. And it kind of gives you an idea of what this world is like and what these characters have had to go through leading up to this moment. The zombies in this movie were absolutely awesome and Zack Snyder was not afraid to get real weird with it. Even though there are some familiar beats when it comes to the zombies, they were able to add some new fresh takes to it. The biggest thing that I thought was really interesting is this zombie hierarchy where you have the lower level ones and then the ones that are in charge and the ones that have heightened abilities. So there's a lot more going on when it comes to this zombie infestation. And on top of that, there are also zombie animals. So this is a very diverse cast of zombies that I think were really cool, really menacing. I also found it interesting that the zombies in this movie actually had a story of their own in a way. They had their own motivation for what they were doing because again, there are these higher level zombies that have more intelligence, have more thought behind what they're doing. So you get a glimpse of these higher up zombies and you kind of see what they're fighting for, how they operate, what are the rules of this area that they have control over, this kingdom as one of the characters calls it. I thought that made these zombies way more interesting, way more engaging, and again, really menacing. This movie also has a great cast of characters. Again, we have Dave Bautista leading the cast, but there's also some great side characters. Some of my favorites were Lily, who is their guide as they're traveling through the zombie infest Las Vegas. Skeeter, who is the safe expert, sort of the comic relief, and also one of the only people in the group that doesn't know how to fight zombies, so it's really hilarious seeing him freak out. And then there's Vandero, who is the guy in the trailer that has the saw weapon. I thought he was a really fun character too. And now of course, this is a zombie movie, so you know there's a lot of cool action, a lot of cool kill moments where they're killing different zombies in really creative ways. This is a really capable team of fighters here and there's some really, really impressive fight choreography. Times where they're getting swarmed and you see one character taking on a bunch of zombies on their own, whether they're using a gun or knives. And again, you don't know if they're gonna make it out. There are of course some characters that you're really rooting for that you want to make it through. And then other characters who you're not rooting for as much because you see that they have ulterior motives and they're up to something very, very suspicious. And on top of the action, there is also some really great effects work, not just CGI, but also practical effects. There's a really solid mix of them. There's one moment towards the beginning where it looked really, really obvious they were in front of a green screen. But other than that, I think most of the effects kind of blended in really well. If I had to change one thing about the movie, it would probably be this kind of subplot with Scott Ward's daughter, Kate, and her trying to save one of her friends who's also in the Las Vegas area. I feel like that storyline didn't add as much to the movie, and I feel like it was there just for the point of making things crazier, more suspenseful which for the most part worked towards the end, but I feel like you kind of cut away from this group for so long that you almost don't care about them as much. I personally wasn't as invested in Kate's friends that she's trying to save because you don't really get that much time with them versus the team, Scott Ward's team, where you see a lot of stuff with them. You get an idea of why these characters are doing this, what their motivation is, what they're fighting for, what their values are, and how they kind of view this zombie situation. Now, these other characters, you only see them a couple times in the movie, so I didn't care about them as much. I wasn't as invested in them being rescued. Overall, I think this movie was pretty fun. I think Zack Snyder is two for two on movies this year. I think he's definitely on the right track with what he's doing now. It's nice to see him free from this whole Justice League thing and he can finally move on from Warner Bros and all that and just do whatever he wants. And I like that for him. I'm happy for him. I think this movie is definitely worth checking out. The verdict. I think Army of the Dead is a great time. The day I'm releasing this video, I think the movie is on its way out of theaters, but tomorrow it will be on Netflix for you to watch at home. So I definitely think this is worth checking out. If you happen to have a theater near you still showing it this weekend, definitely go see it. But if not, I think you'll still enjoy it on the small screen. So do you plan on watching Army of the Dead this weekend? Let me know down in the comments. 
If you have seen it already, let me know your thoughts without spoilers. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.